Hi, I'm Gary White. And I'm Yvonne McNary. Here for Channel 6 and Kentucky Television. We have a full show for you of exciting stuff that Yvonne's been out talking to some people. And we also have a beautiful arrangement in front of us that yes. is from Country Place Greenhouse, which is yeah. right across from the Lebanon Springfield Airport. Yes. It's gorgeous, Gary. It is. It's wonderful colors. Yes. Spring has sprung. <laughs> <laughs> Whether the weather knows it or not, it has exactly. sprung. Exactly. Yes. And Bernie Borbo at Country Place Greenhouse uh, helped us with picking out this this plant. And he said that this is actually a container plant that they have mm -hmm. available. Uh -huh. And it takes full sun. So that's why I got this one, because oh, since uh -huh. we can have it on the patio outside mm -hmm. of the station here and get full sun, otherwise yeah. we, uh, if it couldn't take full sun, we'd, we'd be in trouble. Yes. Yeah. But he also has impatience, and he's having a special on impatience all this week leading up to Mother's Day. Mm. And they are hanging plants, and they take shade more. Okay. You know, they're partial sun to mm -hmm. shade. So he has stuff where you whether you like shade or sun. Yeah. And uh, they're really pretty. Yeah. You see, on my street, I'm on the shady side. I'm on the shady uh, side of the street. So I'm you're a little shady. I'm a little shady, yes. I'm on the shady <laughs> side of the street, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, but this is so pretty. Isn't All these pretty? wonderful it's colors. Yeah. Yes. And that's from Country Place Greenhouse. And also coming up on Saturday, right before Mother's Day, mm -hmm. Mama's Touch Nursery down in Fredericktown is having a special. Mm -hmm. They're having a Mother's Day jamboree, mm -hmm. kind of a spring fling. <laughs> spring fling. And all the mothers who come get geraniums. Wow. So you could go down there and get a geranium. Yes, uh, wow. Yeah, for free. Yeah. Plus, uh, see, you should go inside because their shop is really nice with lots of antiques and different items mm -hmm. inside. And people know it for being a nursery and for gardening and such. But she has some interesting items inside as well. Okay. So she's hoping people will come. There's going to be refreshments, and you can kind of go explore the oh, inside of the shop oh, nice. as well as see all the pretty flowers outside. Yes. That's yeah, good. that's really good. Everybody's getting rich for Mother's Day. Exactly. Yes. Also coming up this weekend will be the St. Augustine Parish-wide yard sale. It'll be Saturday, May the 13th, and Sunday, May the 14th on Mother's Day and the day before. Mm -hmm. Saturday from 7.30 to 1, and Sunday from 9 to 2. And you got a chance to talk to Nico McMahon, right? Who is McCann, the uh -huh. McCann, who is the one who is organizing that? He's the organizer of it. This is a, uh, an event that uh, a program that he put together from his school, Bethlehem, in Bargetown, and it's a, a project that he's doing to get all this organized. So right. he's, he's uh, honing his uh, leadership skills, and uh, they hope to sell everything. And we, they wanted to let everybody know that it's an inside sale. So just in case the weather gets a little iffy, don't worry about it. Come and shop anyway. That's right. And Nico, as you said, is from Lebanon, but uh -huh. goes to school in Bethlehem, uh -huh. Bethlehem uh -huh. in Barstown. And uh, that, as a Bethlehem project, he did this yard sale for St. Augustine School right, here right, in Lebanon. Right. So it's going to be at St. Augustine Parish, mm -hmm. and there's supposed to be lots of different items. So you got a chance to see some of the different items? Yes, I did. There's lamps. There's beds, there's mattresses, <laughs> there's chairs and tables, microwaves, um, clothing, designer handbags. Uh, uh, pick something up? Yeah, not yet, not yet. Uh, they also <laughs> have lots of baby clothes, I'm told. So for those people out there who uh, have babies now or babies coming, this would be the perfect opportunity. And also she wanted me to re remind people that the 68 sale is coming up. So if you wanted to get some items from her, to fill in for your 68 sale, she'd welcome that. Absolutely. And anyone uh, doing consignment stores or anything like that, she, you know, she really would like you to come out and uh, take part in this. And the whole idea is for Nico to get the experience in organizing and getting it done, and getting back to the school and showing them, you know, what he could do. And we want him to get an A. So That's come on right. out and shop. That's right. And it's going to be on Saturday, May the 13th, and Sunday, May the 14th at St. Augustine School in Lebanon, but thousands of items, mm -hmm. and it's a project for a Bethlehem High School student. Also, there's going to be a community baby shower for pregnant women in Marion County on June the 6th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Marion County Public Library. Food and door prizes will be offered, and everyone is welcome to come on out, and if you're RSVP, you can receive a free Walmart gift card if you're pregnant as well. Then they ask you to call or text Jackie at 270-734-2294 to take part in that event as well. Mm -hmm. That's put on by the Heartland Coalition in, say, Community Coalition in Marion County. So that's a nice event for them as well. Talking about babies, you can get some clothes at the uh, yard sale. Mm -hmm. Sure can. Absolutely. So you also had the opportunity to talk to some other folks. 
Uh, yes, I did. Um, see, uh, I talked to some people about Mother's Day and uh, talked to some people down in Bardstown and who were from all over the country. Talked to one man from Ohio and <laughs> who wanted to say, uh, I'll give his mom a shout out for Mother's Day. And uh, for my very special friend, Vicki Brady, she'd like to say happy Mother's Day to her mom, Peggy, Peggy Reed and uh, all the mothers in the community. So, I mean, we had, I had a great time talking to these ladies. They've got some funny stories about um, special powers that their moms had, you know. <laughs> Did and, they pass on to them? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask. Okay. <laughs> but they had, mom had special powers, you know, and could do things that no one else could do, you know, so you better watch out for mom. <laughs> Absolutely. Lots of mothers have special powers, right? Yeah. Did you have any special powers? Um, my special power was uh, transporting, <laughs> transporting kids in my car from, from one place to the other, I guess. I guess that was about my special power right there, yeah. uh, You also had a chance to talk to another mother who actually won an award, right, mm -hmm. for teaching. Yes, I did. I talked with Gail King, and uh, she is still excited and still bubbling about the award that she won uh, for 2016 Educator of the Year. Uh, through the Chamber of Commerce and uh, we, we talked a little bit about that and got a few details about her past and how she got into education, you know, okay. yeah, a little bit about her. And also uh, she um, did a, a greeting as well for her mother for Mother's Day. Okay. And you're going to hear about her mother, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> a riot. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and also I had an opportunity to talk to Donnie Gill who's with the Lincoln Trail District Health Department and hear a little bit about the Narcan training program that they had in Nelson County, which is the drug that can be used for those who are having an overdose from mm -hmm. heroin, and how that program went, and opportunities if you were unable to take part in that, if you feel a need, that there's still going to be some opportunities for that, as well as about the needle exchange program that's coming mm -hmm. to Bardstown and Nelson County, but it's actually servicing our whole area. And it gives us a little update on that, too. So stay with us here on Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television. We have a whole lot more to come.